about the first live, that was a little rough. Our mics ended up turning off, but we're back and hopefully we're better. If we're not better, please let us know though. So in the live chat, you guys can talk and give us live feedback. If there's anything wrong with the photo quality or the sound quality, please. Like if you guys can't hear me right now, please let me know so I don't keep rambling on. Um, we're gonna follow up with the same suit. So we're gonna do a full exterior walk around, full interior walk around and answer you guys' questions on the Kia Soul EX, or most popular trim level. Today we're gonna to talk about why it's popular, what makes it such a great value trim, and what exactly is in it, the price point, the engine, the transmission, everything. And then if any point, you, if at any point you guys have any questions, please leave them below in the chat box. Me and Charlotte or Mark, either one of us will answer your question. I'm gonna have Charlotte come on in and give you guys a little bit of a rundown of who we are, what we do, and how you can find us back again and if you've already watched this part i'm very sorry <laughs> <laughs> then that's really unfortunate but it just means i get to do my favorite thing which is promoting our dealer group and here we have mr tim gross our general manager hello popping in <laughs> i'm just checking the feed okay we're good <laughs> thanks. thanks tim <laughs> thumbs up for tim uh no but seriously he helped us with the. Uh, kicking everyone off the network too. So really big thing, thumbs up for Tim. But we are a real dealership located here in Brantford, Ontario. So if you are interested in any Kia or Hyundai product, Gabby and I can actually uh, help you out with Kia. We can see you through the entire selling process. If you have any questions, if you have questions about Hyundai, we do have two dealerships that are part of our dealer group, Brantford Hyundai and Owen Sound Hyundai. And we'd love to connect you with them if you guys have any questions regarding those vehicles as well, or even if you want to buy one, we can certainly help you out in getting you directed with those people. For those of you who are watching in the future, uh, yes, it is a Tesla behind me. It's sold. <laughs> um, I lost Let's my focus in on the soul. Yeah. <laughs> Don't, don't look at that. <laughs> don't mind that. It's fine. Uh, for those of you who are watching in the future, um, if you ever want to join our live, we can show you guys how that works. We do live videos every Monday and Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That way, uh, if you ever want to hop on and ask your questions, you can do so. So Gabby will show you how to get onto the live. I will grab the camera and turn it around. All right. Hello. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us again. So. I just have everything casted from my laptop onto here so you guys can see it a little bit bigger. Um, you wanna go to the Kia Hyundai channel on YouTube. If you guys are watching in the future and wanna catch our next live, that is. And then just refresh it at 2 p.m. Eastern. And then you should see we have our faces and the Kia Soul, um, whichever video we're filming live, and then however many people are on. If I press that now, it may make you watch an ad, it might not. Oh, it will. Oh, oh it did not. Oh, it, it did it. <laughs> awesome. So that's me right now. It's a little scary to look at, um, sorry, but we leave this on while we're doing the live so we can see your guys' questions roll in and answer them as they come. Um, with that being said, we're going to get into the walk around. So if you guys are watching our next live in the future, you can skip to the, what minute are we at? We're at three. Probably three, three and a minute half. mark. That's when we usually start talking about relevant things. So let's go check it out. <laughs> this is the 2023 Kia Soul EX trim in our dark gray color. You can call this gravity gray and our stellar gray. It's got a couple names, um, but this is the only gray that's available for the Kia Soul for 2023. There's no silver, there's no steel gray. None of that's available. Um, you do have a new funky color called Surf Blue. We're waiting for one of those. I'm really, really excited to see what that's gonna look like. But let's talk about what's under the hood first because that's the same on all models of the Kia Soul. It's a two liter MPI, four cylinder, engine so just straight up gasoline no special premium fuel no turbo either naturally aspirated um, paired with an ivt transmission so that stands for intelligent variable transmission essentially it is an automatic there's no gear shift um, it's just a little bit more fuel efficient horsepower is 147 and torque is 132 pound feet of torque so now that the mechanical stuff is done let's take a look at what's around um, our front end so you can see immediately these razor sharp led headlights one thing I love about the Kia Soul is that this is the EX model. It's one above the base and you already have almost full LED headlights. And you can see they are so, so sharp. I'll have Mark pan over to the wall behind us just so you can see how sharp the cutoff is. Woof, woof. <laughs> so at nighttime, wherever you drive, it is amazing. You can see everything. Um, and then of course you still have your high beams and everything as well too. No fog lights available on the Soul, but honestly, I think these will do. 
You can also see that the new Kia logo is embedded in this glass panel here on the grill. So very cool. It used to be placed right up here, so still on the hood. And if you'd have it open, you wouldn't tell it's a Kia. Actually, you would. It's a Kia Soul. It's so iconic. Everyone knows it's a Kia. And we'll come down here. <laughs> on this huge grill, you have a little bit of a rectangular panel that spans across. That is going to be your front radar plate. So that's actually going to pick up vehicles ahead of you. Sorry, guys. I don't want to get blinded. Those lights really, really work. Um, that's going to pick up vehicles ahead of you if they slow down or suddenly press on the brake, someone cuts you off. The car will alert you that there is a potential collision. If you fail to react, it will break for you. So collision avoidance assist, amazing feature to have because you never know. You could be a great driver, stuff still happens. It's great to just have extra safety features. And the car is no exception. Over here, it's gonna be a little hard to show on camera, but in the center of the windshield, you'll see there's a little bit, of, not a little bit, there is a camera. That's gonna pick up your lanes. So the lanes ahead of you and monitor where you're at in your lane. So there's actually two features that work off of that um, camera. One of them is what keeps you centered. So kind of ping pong balls you in between your lane. Now I don't say that in a negative way. Some manufacturers actually do ping pong you. This one, it'll just alert you if you're about to depart your lane and kind of bring you back in. Another great way or thing this feature does is it prevents blind spot collisions. So it's gonna pick up cars around you. If you do kind of depart from your lane, there's a car in your blind spot, it'll revert you back into your lane, avoiding a collision. Another thing it does is your steering resistance. So let's say you got your cruise control on, you're on the highway and there's a little curve in the road, the car will kind of take over and steer for you. It doesn't feel like the vehicle is fully taking over, taking over like robots taking over the world. It's just a nice assistance, so I love it. Now let's talk about the mirrors. So body color mirrors with a little bit of black on the bottom and you do have uh, a turn signal indicator there. Another great feature to have because that way whoever's driving in front of you can see, hey, you're planning on making a turn. Body color door handles. This uh, trim level is keyed ignition, so there's no button on there to unlock your door without using your key fob. Gas cap is on the left side. And then we'll come around to the back. You see our beautiful, I like to call them boomerangs. They look a little bit like a boomerang. Let me know if you guys agree with me. Tail lights. And then you have a top brake light up here as well. Your backup camera is located just right over there. So if you live in a cold climate where you get snow or ice, or even if you just get your cart dirty a lot, you just wanna make sure you wipe that off so your camera's functional. Kia logo back here, Soul logo. And let's open this up. So because we already did do this live and the quality was so bad, I already have the floor down. Um, so I'll have Mark just quickly show what the trunk space is like. Okay, so you can see we got a pretty good size amount of room. And this floor actually does come up. And sits right up there. So you can play around with it depending on what you're taking in the back of your uh, vehicle, what you're not taking. You can have it either up or down, really play around with it. And it doesn't take up any room at all. So it just looks natural, looks like the floorboard. And I'm not sure if you guys caught that, but there is a real spare tire at the bottom there. So essentially you could have it up here, have whatever blanket, first aid kit, just any sort of necessities you may need, bottles of water um, underneath there and you wouldn't know you, there's anything there. Um, your seats, they do fold down all the way and they all have a car seat latch. So that's about it for the trunk. We're back here. We'll close this up. Since it is considered a hatchback or crossover, you do have a rear wiper and a little sharp fin antenna. So it adds to a little bit of a sporty flair. Um, I almost forgot wheels. So these are 16 inch alloy wheels. Pretty cool design, looks pretty sporty. I like it with this color as well too. Um, with our SUVs and crossovers in Canada, we have our rear windows already tinted, and then of course you could tint the front windows. So we'll get a nice shot from the side so you can see the whole body of the car. <laughs> and one more thing I want to show you. I was playing around with this earlier after you took it to the car wash. I really like this. <laughs> so there's this little insert here, flare if you will, and it's textured. Mm -hmm. You can make some sounds with it. That's all. <laughs> now I'll bring it over to Charlotte and we'll see if there was any questions that we missed as we were filming. Yeah, I saw that we had someone asking about any new colors. We don't yes. have any new colors this year. These are the ones that we do have available. I just pulled them up. So Snow White Pearl, of course, we're seeing the vehicle in gravity gray. Fusion Black, which is not a pearlescent paint. 
Inferno Red, Surf Blue, Lunar Orange, and Neptune Blue, so all of which we have seen before. Ooh, another good question. What is the price? So the price on this one, Canadian pricing at least, is $24,495. That is before taxes and before freight and air. So decent price. Very good price, actually, compared to other vehicles in its size class. I see the question about towing capacity as well. So in Canada, it's actually not recommended to tow with the sole, but other countries, I believe the US and Australia, have spec'd it to be able to tow around 24,000 pounds, but I would probably keep it under that. And Kia does not have a hitch or wiring or anything like that that would be for the sole. So it would be all aftermarket in Canada. <laughs> Is this the car where the taillights look like a cell phone? No. <laughs> it looks like a boomerang. It looks like a boomerang, yeah. Um, it could be a flip phone. Yeah. Can you pull a burnout in the sole for the people watching? If this wasn't a sold unit, I would totally do a burnout. Pat, if you're watching this, no, you're not. <laughs> turn you it said, off. Turn it said, off. Turn it off. 24,000. Sorry? Towing capacity. Oh, 2,400. <laughs> 24,000. This thing's a unit. Yeah. You don't need a Ram 1500. Uh-uh. <laughs> okay. That's an epic fail on my part. <laughs> um, I'm going to be able to get a tax credit if I buy an ROEV. How's the waiting time if ordered today? So for the gasoline sold, we typically quote four to six months. Now, if you are open to color and trim level, there's a chance that if we get allocated one in the next month or two, you could get it sooner, provided no one already put their name on it. Um, it's really just tricky getting cars right now because the order bank is closed. So it's essentially whatever we get allocated. Good times. <laughs> um, Fun fact, the color panel on the rear with the Kia logo is called the backpack. It's been a Hallmark style item since it sold debuted. Nice. Didn't know the Kia sold came with the backpack. Um, let's see. Any other questions about the exterior before we hop into the interior? We want to try to keep everything in sections. Mm -hmm. Make it a little bit more formal for you guys. Easier to watch. Easier to watch. You got it. <laughs> it is not a Toyota Tacoma to no. 24,000. Listen, I can admit when I'm wrong. I was wrong there. <laughs> we, were, we were wrong. It's been a long day, guys. It's not even that long into the day, but it's been long. Um, can we get another car ASMR clip? Oh, we'll have to see if there's any plastic on the inside. I took off the last piece of plastic. Ah, yeah. Dang it. Um, if we find anything, though, gladly. Um, okay, I think we should just get into the interior. All right. Do you want to mix and match it? Sure. Okay, let's do it. You go, girl. <laughs> Usually I do the exterior and Gabby does the interior, but I actually had to sneak out at the first half, so we switched things up. Uh, of course, a lot of the information in regards to safety features, which we usually go over on the inside of the vehicle, Gabby was actually able to point out the physical counterparts uh, on the outside, uh, you know, like lane follow assist, lane keep assist with your camera and your radar plate, and then also the sensors on the front and rear for forward uh, cross traffic alert and also rear cross traffic alert and your blind spot. So we know a lot about the safety of this vehicle already going into it. I'll have Mark show you the door panel. So as you can see, we do have some nice textured design at the top. We also have six speakers in this vehicle. It's got AM, FM radio, everything like that. And then also you do have power adjustable mirrors. They do not fold in uh, when you lock the vehicle or fold out when you unlock the vehicle. I know a lot of people ask that question. You do have some nice express windows in the front as well. So both the driver and the passenger are express windows. So you can give it a nice little tap, quickly comes up, and you don't really have to worry about it. I do wish that they were all express windows because I'm a big fan of express windows, especially with pets. Um, but you win some, you lose some. Something I do really like about the interior of this vehicle is all of the little leather details, which you'll see on the steering wheel. When it comes to the seat, it is all manual. Oh. Oh, these seats are really comfy, actually. <laughs> that was my true, honest thought. Uh, so it is manually adjustable. So here, of course, you have the back. Or sorry, that, this is the back here. This is raising the height. And then sliding it forward as well. I'm going to slide it back a little bit. That way, there's a little bit more camera room. And I will have Mark come around and join us. Welcome back. 
Oh, and we do have some plastic on the glove box. So let's have a little ASMR moment. On the mic. Ooh, yeah. Oh, we got lucky, guys. <laughs> Again, Pat, if you're watching, I'm really sorry. <laughs> Okay, now we got some plastic. I'll put that in my pocket and throw it out later, I promise. Okay, so some of the details that I was talking about, is you can see that we do have a really nice leather wrapped steering wheel, and it is a heated steering wheel, and it's not just heated in sections, it's actually fully heated around. Some of them it's only in sections, so if you like to drive, you know, maybe like this as opposed to this, you'd still be wearing gloves. So this is nice because we have our eight inch touch, touch screen here for the navigation. So it's really nice that it's fully heated, no gloves needed. You also have the nice leather detail on your uh, gear shift too. So that is leather topped. And then some of the other features that we have, I mentioned that this is the uh, eight inch screen here that you have for your media. And on it, of course, I mentioned radio controls, media controls. This vehicle, it does have wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. And it also has a wireless phone charger, which is really nice. So something that I like when Kia does or when Hyundai does it is when they have either everything wired or everything wireless. Man, I really struggle with talking when I'm sitting down because I'm pregnant and my lungs are just like, but anyways, that was probably an overshare. <laughs> I'm making all these excuses. Um, so I, anyways, yeah, I really like that they do everything wireless or everything wired. I just find it a little bit easier and it makes more sense that way too. As we look on the dash, we have, of course, our controls, our climate controls, recirculated air. And something Gabby mentioned the last time we saw a Soul is that this button, it actually is shaped like a Kia Soul. So how cute is that? And then, of course, you know, you still have your air, your climate controls right here. Down at the bottom, you do have a USB. You have a 12 volt and then also a USB-C for fast charging heated seats for both the driver and passenger, and your heated steering wheel button, which I mentioned, and then manual lever power uh, e-brake as well. You do have drive modes on this vehicle, so I'll press that. You have normal mode and sport mode, and so this is going to change the uh, uh, torque distribution in the vehicle, give it a little bit more of a sportier, peppier feel. It's Gabby's favorite mode. <laughs> uh, and you can, of course, see that on the 4.2 inch little dash gauge as well it doesn't change the um oh no no it does i'll show that so normal mode we do have purple here and then it does change into sport to give it a little bit more of a uh ambience ambience for the vehicle <laughs> <laughs> i'm messing up all my words today uh and then of course on the steering wheel itself you're gonna have a lot of your media and driving controls. So your cruise control is gonna be here on this side and then also your media controls. That way it's nice and easy to work everything in the vehicle from the driver's seat. One of my favorite features in this vehicle that is not really a feature that many vehicles have nowadays. You do of course have a sunglass holder. <laughs> uh, I drive a Sorento and it doesn't have a sunglass holder. So I'm always excited when I see one that people are still including them. And then other than that, of course, you do have regular standard lighting in the front and nice cloth seats as well. So now we can hop into the back and we can show you what the seating and the space is like there. Horn test. Should I? Yeah. It works. <laughs> nice and peppy too. That's, That's a good turn horn. this off for right now. I'm in the back. I think Charlotte's gonna hop in the back. Well, this is good because I moved this seat pretty much all the way back, so you can see how comfortable we are. Um, neither of us are very tall, quite honestly. Uh, <laughs> I still have leg room, which is great. And I feel like these seats are pretty far back too. Yeah, I gotta say, I definitely, I think I might have longer legs than, I'm taller than Charlotte and I'm sitting in the middle and I'm pretty good. I got a lot of headroom still, oh, yeah, like a lot, a lot. Um, my knee room's pretty good as well too. Feet room, I mean, could use some work, but I am in heels, so that's probably why I'm a little uncomfortable. Uh, one thing to point out, though, you two, you do, <laughs> you have two USB Cs down there, so not regular USBs, but the Cs. So that actually charges your phone a little bit quicker. 
still not for me. <laughs> um, so you got that. Um, and that way your rear passengers, whether it's kids, friends, adults, whoever it is, they can charge their devices. Um, I really like how the backs of the seats have this plastic as well too, easier to clean. And then you do have a storage pocket on the passenger side and it's all leather. So I don't know, some people are in between. They like the mesh more. Some people like the actual pocket more. I love the pocket because whatever you put in there, whether it's a- uh, It can stay hidden. Yeah, it, it's hidden, right? No one can see what it is. Um, what else do you have to point out back here, Charlotte? Something I do wish this vehicle had um, is obviously going to be rear vents. Mm -hmm. A lot of the time, no matter what type of vehicle you're driving, if you're in the back seat, you can sometimes get a little bit stuffy. You don't get as uh, excellent circulation as you would coming directly from the vents in the front. So wish that was included, but you know, open your window, I guess, or bring a fan with you. <laughs> oh my goodness. But overall, very comfy seats. Um, oh, super comfortable. Even for cloth, a lot of people obviously prefer leather, mm -hmm. a little bit more of a premium feel, but these cloth seats, I could sit in them for a while and yeah. they're pretty comfy, pregnant lady approved. The overall size of this vehicle, so judging by the customers that I've sold, a lot of tall sold. people, sold, literally sold, um, a lot of taller people um, tend to go with the sold because it doesn't look like a big vehicle, but you get in here and there's so much headroom. So you don't have to drive a huge vehicle just because you're a tall person. This works, it, it fits. Um, another thing I have to say about the Soul is there used to be a lot of boxy competition, like the Honda Element. Yep. Um, what was, there was a couple other ones, but there's a reason why the Kia Soul is still out there and the other ones aren't. It's yeah. just, it's superior. It, it's amazing. <laughs> Honestly. Or a cube shaped car. Yeah, I used to make fun of them way before I worked here. Um, and then I drove one and I understood the hype. You have to drive one first. They are so comfortable. It's very comfortable. So comfortable, so smooth. Um, great on gas, features are great, price point's great, and it's so comfy, so comfy. Especially with the, the uh, especially with the EX, like, it's very easy to understand why this is probably the most popular trim yeah. for the Kia Soul because you do get uh, a fair bit of value for your money. Um, of course, if there are some things that are really important to you, like leather seats, sunroof, if you want those more luxurious touches, you would have to go up in trims. Yes. But as far as, you know, a vehicle that is close to that's only one up from the base model, you're getting a lot for your money. Mm -hmm. So excellent value for what you get, excellent fuel efficiency, and an excellent driving experience overall. 10 out of 10 for the Kia Soul. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna hop out and we'll check for any questions that we may have missed. Okay, hopefully we don't wipe out. The ground is a little muddy and dirty and overall not great. <laughs> it's been a rainy week. It has been. These two girls are the goddesses of sales. That's the first question I saw. Thank you. <laughs> That's my type of comment. Um, which one do you recommend, Kia Soul or Kia Exceed? Um, we don't have the Exceed in Canada, but I'm pretty sure it's the Forte, right? Yeah. Um, that's where it gets tricky because they both share the same engine, same transmission, but the size is very different. The size of the Forte for me is perfect because I don't have a lot of stuff with me and I don't always have that many passengers with me. And I just prefer a sedan more for myself. Um, but I would say the Soul is the more versatile of the two. Like there's more you can do with the Kia Soul, for sure, I think. Charlotte, what do you think? Oh, I agree. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> um, let's see. I see the question asking about the 23 Soul EV. Mm -hmm. And we did have specs released for that. We've actually done a video on it already. So if you're curious about that, where is it? I'm trying to find it. Oh, they said we understand you, Charlotte. Oh, good. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, okay. I see someone else is saying no sunglass holder either. Yeah. It's. I, I wish there was. <laughs> I understand it for players because those are dying out and becoming less of a thing, yeah, right? But sunglasses, sunglasses. Like, <laughs> how do you replace sunglasses? Yeah. <laughs> Transition lens contacts? No, thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting controversial. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hot topic. Yeah. We need a separate video on that. Um, hello, Gabby, you made me buy a K5 JT. Awesome how car. How are you enjoying it? Yes, oh, I love that car so much. Um, Nissan Cube, ew. That's what I was thinking of too. I was going to say it, but I didn't. <laughs> I just think I always see those cars on the road. No other box body like the Soul. That's right. Um, 
Exceed. I had to look that up. That looks nice, but my fave is the Forte 5. I do like the Forte 5 yeah, as well, Forte too. Yeah, great vehicle, too. How often do you go to the car wash? Um, pretty much any day we film because... We try to have our cars be semi-clean. Sem semi-clean. <laughs> For when we film them. Emphasis on semi. <laughs> um, is the sunroof available in any of the other trims? Yeah, if you go up one step to the EX Plus, you do get a sunroof. Um, is that a Model 3 nearby? Yes. Yes. I sold, sold that Model 3 yesterday. And I'm the business manager on it. See? Teamwork! <laughs> we love it. I have a 2022. The only difference is the heated option. Um, does the K5 have heated mirrors and how do you activate them? It does. So to activate the heated mirror, you just want to press your heated um, rear window button. So the icon on the sole is not going to be the same. But the button they use to defrost your rear windshield, that also works for your mirrors. Um, do you, any of the soles have memory seats? They do not, unfortunately. Um, congratulations on sale. Thank you. Thanks. And with a baby on the way, I'd like to see how a car seat fits in these small cars. Okay. Have you a car seat yet? Let me, okay, let me get on my soapbox. Uh, Pat, <laughs> Tim, if you're watching this, the people want to see a car seat. Let, can I expense one through the dealership? <laughs> This is what I want to know. Um, we definitely want to do those videos. I definitely want to do them because that's obviously the she avenue wants of a free life. Car seat. Yes, <laughs> uh, that is the avenue of life I'm heading into. So I definitely think that would be great because everyone kind of understands the size of a car seat too. So it'll also help give a more accurate view of space in the back seat, uh, especially when it's you know two people who aren't super tall sitting in the back seat, giving you a frame of reference too. <laughs> That's a tax deduction, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just saw that comment, that's funny. What kind of car does Mark drive? Oh, oh, oh. oh. Uh, I drive a 1997 Toyota Camry Luxury Edition. Uh, it's the top trim of that year. <laughs> uh, we could do a live with this. Tell if them you guys about the wheels, to. tell them about the wheels, Mark. It's got 15 inch um, aftermarket wheels that are Apple, or candy apple red. It's no longer a luxury car. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a foreign anymore. That's a citizen, bro. Oh, that's really funny. <laughs> okay. Some um, of these comments are really making me laugh today. <laughs> It'd be great if we get a driver point of view while driving. I would love to in the Kia Soul because it's just such a pleasure to drive. But unfortunately, this one is sold. See what I did there? Trader, um, you must have a Kia. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't have the money to afford a Kia. Yes. So, but the 1997 Camry, it was in my price range. Yes. There we go. Also, Mark is a co-op student for us, so he is a fresh face. Um, if you guys are wondering where he came from, that's where he came from. <laughs> Just spawned. Yeah, we picked him up off the street. Uh, <laughs> nice. Good for Mark. Thanks to all the team for being so nice. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching, guys. Now, is there any other questions about the soul before we wrap up today's live? We got a little unhinged today. Like, yes. Like, majorly. <laughs> um, it's a great car, Mark, and it's an affordable car and response. Yes. Oh, Mark 100%. Needs a Kia coat to look a bit more like Peter. You can try. Yeah, these can... jackets, we got them last year, but we need more of them. You can try on my I want to sell them. People seem to like them, so. Is this the base model? No, this is actually one up from the base model. The base model is the LX. <laughs> um, that looks good on you, Mark. Have a good day, all. You too. What's the horsepower? 147 is the uh, horsepower spec for all models of the Kia Soul. Where can I get one? The jacket or the car? If I buy a <laughs> Kia, can I get stock. a free jacket? Yeah. <laughs> See, this is why I'm saying we need to keep these jackets in stock. Yes, yes. Also, winter jackets would be pretty cool. Like cool winter all the winter. time. It's cold in here with the bay doors. Yeah. Jacket. Um, I'm not sure if they're available for like public sale. We got. Well, they're them. not even available for the people who work here. Yeah. <laughs> if I if I lost mine, I would have no replacement. <laughs> um, jacket. Uh, uh, any news on the wireless Android Auto for the ten and a quarter inch infotainment? Not as of yet. We keep hearing that there's going to be a software update. Uh, we have yet to be notified about anything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Your Soul EV has a 
sunglass holder. Good. <laughs> oh, that comment made me laugh. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm trying to steer it away. Um, when will you be showing the EX Premium Soul? We haven't had an EX Premium Soul yet, unfortunately. Yeah. As soon as we get any new model, you best believe we're going to film it because we're dying to film something new yeah <laughs> we're literally dying it's been obviously difficult we've said this time and time again with inventory shortage finding vehicles to uh to kind of keep filming so <laughs> as soon as we get any X premium we'd love to yes all right i think that about sums it up for today's video what do you think yeah if there's uh any other questions feel free to type them in the chat mm -hmm. but if not we will see you guys <laughs> on monday <laughs> All right, guys. Yes, thank you so much for watching. We'll be back again live 2 p.m. Eastern Monday. Car to be determined. Um, we'll post it on our Brantford Kia Instagram page. Mm -hmm. So you can find us at Brantford Kia on Instagram and probably our Facebook page as well, too. Yep. All right. Thank you, guys.